to say this is the most intriguing of all the experiments we're going to make, Chris, would be a massive understatement. What have I got in front of me here? We've got the Tesla coil part two. It would be really interesting to know how you built this. So where did you get the information for it? This is just a copy from a YouTube video. The wiring diagram is on the, the actual YouTube video itself. If you search for this video, you're likely to be able to find the one of how to build your own Tesla coil. But can you just tell me what you've got down here at the bottom? I can see some red cables and I can see some other what look like laminated wires going up. What's happening there? Yeah, this is primarily a step up transformer. The red coils of wire there are the, the primary coil. And as you can see, this copper wire here that's insulated, this is the secondary coil. So that's stepping up some voltage there. And is it AC or DC voltage that we've got inside of the little box at the bottom? What we've got inside the, the, the box at the bottom is we've got a nine volt battery and we've also got a transistor inside there. So what's actually happening is the transistor switching on and off rapidly to make a pulsed DC. We've seen these before on TV shows, haven't we, where we have the massive, what looks like electric current coming out to people's hands. That's the sort of thing we've built here. But you're gonna prove that the electricity is in here by using what looks like an old fluorescent tube. It is, yeah, it's a circular one. It just makes it look a little bit better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the supply on. If I bring this fluorescent tube around. Oh, wow. Is it more voltage at the top than at the bottom? Obviously, we've got more turns, and as you uh, can yeah. see, it bringing it further down, but right near the top, it actually makes the lamp illuminate. I'm a little concerned now, so we've given me a neon lamp to hold, and I'm holding the metallic conductor, where you held just the glass tube during your experiment. Is this something to be fearful of, Chris? Well, I'm holding an insulator, and you're holding the conductor, guys. All right, okay, so turn me on then. Let's see what happens and whether I'm still here to shoot the end of this video. So I'm gonna put it right down at the bottom where the least amount of voltage is, and I'm just gonna bring it up and see what happens. As we, oh, just there, at that point, my neon illuminates it should get slightly bright it might be quite difficult to see as we get up to the top but i can't feel anything chris so you sort of suggested that i might feel that electricity why can't i feel the electricity that's the magnetic field that's being induced inside the neon lamp to illuminate it yes. so no electricity just a magnetic field being passed there so as i go towards it we're not touching electricity we are actually got the magnetic field is that right that's right yeah. and isn't this the basis of what tesla wanted to do he wanted to transmit wirelessly electricity over long distances he never quite got there did he he didn't quite get there no mr westernhausen pulled the money on him he did yeah well done for remembering that and as i look under here you might be wondering what this is and it's all to do with back emfs if you want to see that video it's on screen right now